How to make sense of even the most complicated heart drawing. I'm Hayley, I'm from Parallel Coaching and I'm just doing some not so light reading using the Gray's Anatomy book which is a chunk of reading and in a lot of detail. But what I wanted to really highlight is that sometimes you'll look at a picture of an anatomical heart and it will look totally different to another image of an anatomical heart and that's because obviously the heart is 3D and we view it from lots of different angles depending on the thing we're looking at within it. So really make sure that you're orientating yourself around it by using some key landmarks. And these are going to be the landmarks I'm going to help show you now. First off, you've got the septum, which goes down through the middle. That's what divides the right and the left sides of the heart. Now, the right side of the heart has got a much smaller bit of muscle compared to the left side of the heart in terms of the left ventricle. Now that's because the muscle on the left ventricle, when that contracts, is going to force all of that blood with through high force up through that semilunar valve, out into the aorta and then out and around the body. And the reason why that then needs to be much stronger than here on the right ventricle is because the left ventricle is the one that's sending it up to the aorta and then that's got to go everywhere across the whole body. Whereas the right ventricle's just got to push it out towards the lungs, which isn't as far to go. So that's how you know that if you see a thick side, you know that that's the left ventricle, whereas the right ventricle is a slightly smaller. Then you're also looking out for things like this shape up here. You see this up here, which are the semi-lunar valves. Now, if you think about lunar meaning moon and semi meaning half, then it's like a half moon shape. So those are semi-lunar valves, and they're the ones that are sort of on the exit from the, the ventricles out into the, the arteries, either the aorta or the pulmonary artery on this side. Um, then another key landmark is to look at these strings down here. You've got the tricuspid strings and you've got the, the bicuspid, which is also sometimes called a mitral valve, just to confuse matters. Um, but these little strings that you have are essentially the heart strings, and that is the, the gap between your atria and your ventricles. So if you ever see the strings on a diagram, you know that that's really the valve, the atrioventricular valve that's taking you between your atria and your ventricles. Wow, whistle stop tour of quite a uh, extensive drawing of the heart, but I really wanted to just kind of make sure you understood the difference so that you've got those key landmarks. So even if you have a totally different drawing, you're able to apply your knowledge and then make that work across the board. So I hope that that has been helpful. Please do pop a little comment below and I look forward to hearing from you if you have any questions at all. Have a fantastic day and best of luck with your exam.